I am the clockmaker, and the clockmaker's son. I make the gears to spin, I make the cogs to run, I dictate the meter that measures out durations, mine is the rate and ratio underlying everything. In the infinite timeline, I am the Gordian knot, a closed time-like curve, a temporal paradox, the great uncertainty master of keys and of locks, finder and definer of order from chaos. In the beginning, I receive inspiration, in a telepathic vision from the future, a message arriving before its original sending. A temporal feedback loop begins to grow then, comprised of this idea inside of my mind, and as it expands, consuming my thinking, I begin encompassing the substance of time. In my mind's eye, I begin to behold how time may be seen to seem to be, flowing like a singular rivulet branching into infinite possible streams, yet all leading toward the same inevitable eventual outcome ultimately, like the gnomes of the Nile Delta all spilling silt into the same sea. Time moves through us at one speed. We can move along this timeline at another pace entirely independently, with or against the flows of its tides. Our innermost circadian rhythms and the velocity of our planet's rotation are not synchronized the same for everyone. Each of us is unique in our own energy patterns. Time carries inert objects ever down a spiral, making self-motivating life forms have to struggle against the odds of entropy's momentum's universal pull, eventually negating all of our survival. It is also possible to temporarily escape time's clutches to go beyond its influence on the motions of physical objects by dissolving one's own ego back into oneness with the primary clear light of hyperspace. Gone beyond, I send a pulsed rhythm to my earlier self along these tachyons, informing myself of what is to come from some time beyond the beyond. So I am now become the clockmaker's son once again, overseeing the transmission of the plans for the Gnomon, being sent back to the clockmaker that I was before when I became the clockmaker's son I have now become again.